I'm Papa Ken, and welcome to a brand new episode of Discovering Doctor Who. Today, I'm going to be covering episode 11 of the new series that started in 2005, and that episode is called Boomtown. Now, let me say this. I've ragged, some of the episodes that I've mainly ragged on have been written by Russell T. Davies, the head writer of the show at this point. And this is the first one that I actually kind of liked. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this episode, but it actually was fairly good. Um, the main premise of this episode is that uh, the Doctor, Jack, and Rose go back to Cardiff, I believe is the name of the location. Uh, they go back there to Rose's present time, or like where she comes from, and the, the rift that occurred in episode three Essentially, they're going to sap power from the rift to energize the TARDIS. I don't know, it was, it was very strange, but while they're there, they discover that one of the Slovene from the episode, or the two-part episode, um, Aliens in London and World War Three, has survived. I do not remember the character's name off the top of my head, I'm sorry, but one of them has survived and is essentially planning to blow up the Earth again. Uh, really not much different from the previous time the character and her species appeared on the show. Well, honestly, I feel like this episode is filler. Uh, I mean, that's, real, that's really all I can say about this episode, is that it's a filler episode between the previous part and what is going to be the two-part finale of the, this season or series, or whatever they call it, and, I don't know, it was fine, we, we got to see more of Mickey, um, Rose's mom isn't in it, which was surprising, unless I'm forgetting, <laughs> and, uh, we get to see a little bit more of Jack, uh, other than that, oh, we, we do learn a little bit more about the TARDIS, that the TARDIS is actually alive, which I don't think was mentioned, uh, in previous episodes, and we don't, we don't really get to see the heart of the TARDIS, but um, the Slovene does when she looks into it, when she's trying to uh, take over the TARDIS, or uh, basically she betrays the Doctor and everyone. Um, what else? What else did this episode offer up? Uh, oh, Mickey again. He continues to grow as a very good character for me. He. Um, I get some time alone with Rose, where they sort of talk about a little bit about their relationship. He reveals to her that he's dating someone new, and he he gets very emotional talking about how, you know, she uh, she just basically left him behind, and what what does she expect him to do? Just wait. And although he would wait for her if uh, she wanted him to. It's. I, I really like that growth of the character, and that, that was probably the, the best part of this episode. I mean, other than the Doctor, who is always awesome. Uh, gosh, there's it seems like there was something else, or maybe it was something that bugged me about this episode. Uh, uh, really, more than anything, like I, like I said before, it just felt like a filler episode that it, it was there, and it bridges a gap, I guess, but it didn't really seem to serve much of a purpose. It's like, yeah, it brought back one of the Slovene temporarily. It's gone by the end. Um, oh, well, we do get to see a little bit of a moral dilemma with the Doctor and some of the other characters in regard to what should be done with the Slovene because of the, essentially, war crimes that it has committed, and they're going to take it to... Is it its home planet? Or, uh, cor uh, correct me down in the comments, because I'm honestly having a hard time remembering, but I believe they were going to take it back to its home planet to face justice, or maybe it was a jail of some sort, I can't remember. But essentially, the it, it's, it, in being taken back, it would be essentially taken to its death, because it's essentially going to receive a death sentence for the things it's done in the past. And the, the moral dilemma there is that, you know, that the doctor is responsible, would be responsible for taking someone to their death. And the doctor is also technically responsible for the deaths of all of her species, uh, all the other Slo uh, Slovenes that were on Earth. Um, 
it, it was an it was an interesting moral dilemma, and it, I liked how it played out, especially the back and forth between the doctor and the Slovene when they're having dinner together, which was a it was a fun little scene. I liked that. Uh, but other than that, really, I know I've said this a few times, and I keep correcting myself, but there there just wasn't a whole lot to this episode. Um, this pure filler in between. I mean, all shows are going to have that. They're going to have the filler episodes that don't really mean much, but they're there. And again, this is actually the like, this is the first episode written by Russell T Davies that I didn't, you know, not like. It was it was a decent episode. Uh, it was average at best. That's that's probably the best way to put it. It was average at best, but it wasn't bad. So I, uh, not exactly a positive review, not quite a negative. Yeah, there, there's really no mu not much more point in me talking any more about this particular episode, but... Hi everyone, quick edit here. I also forgot to mention that this episode is the first time that the Doctor and Rose actually identify that the words Bad Wolf uh, keep appearing throughout all their adventures. And, uh, again, this is the first time that they mention it, but it's, it, it, you get a little recap of all the times that it's actually occurred. And I thought that was interesting. I'm glad that they finally, you know, pointed it out within the show, as opposed to just throwing, like, you know, the mysterious bad wolf words here and there. So, you know, quick cut in and cut back out and in scene. Just to let you know, I have already watched the final two episodes of this season, and I'm going to get into recording that right now. So... If you're ready for these two episodes, I believe it is Bad Wolf and... Oh goodness, I forgot another name. Ah, Bad Wolf and Parting of the Ways. Those should be up very soon, hopefully with... Well, it's going to be another two-parter episode. What am I talking about? That should be up within the next few days. Sorry this was kind of a meh episode, but again, the episode I'm talking about was eh. So... Yeah, let's get right on with it. I hope you all enjoyed this review. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Did I miss something? Is there more to this episode than I think there is? <laughs> but whatever it may be, thank you again for watching this episode, and I will see you next time on Discovering Doctor Who.